Hey guys, today I'm in automation and it's what's soon to be BeamNG and today I just got the idea that we're going to build like some cars, you know, and uh, if this goes well, uh, maybe I'll just build a few more and put them in contests, judging your efficiency, whatever, and see what comes out, but um, yeah, today we're just going to be building a car and I just got the idea that we're going to be building a Mio Getro. And you probably already see where this is going. It's like the plasticky car. Um, now, the reason why I really couldn't show the first part of designing this is because my computer crashed. And, uh, yeah, that wasn't great. But, um, yeah, so basically, uh, we just have the worst stuff ever. Steel, ladder, steel, longitudinal, leafs, and, uh, quality, um, is completely down. Um, my three cast iron push rods. This is the smallest engine ever. Uh, this stuff, this stuff doesn't. Yeah, this stuff doesn't cost anything. So, uh, yeah, um, got eleven hundred horsepower out of this. Um, it's using single barrel eco because it actually is cheaper than single barrel. Um, the race intakes because they actually take less production units. Um, low quality fuel because. Of course, it's low quality fuel and quality's all the way down. Long tubulars because they actually have the lowest materials cost, which is pretty weird, but okay. And none of this fancy stuff. And, uh, let me turn out my sound right here. Uh, yeah, it sounds terrible. Exactly what I'm going for. So, um,. Yeah, um, so it comes to our trim. Some normal plastic paint. Um, yeah, of course, uh, these great wheels we have. Um, and we still have to put the rear lights. Uh, now, um, this was what crashed my computer last time, but let's try it again. Uh, yeah, it worked this time. Um, so, yeah, that's our great rear plus that tiny exhaust right there um so let's get on to the drive type let's just hmm this one's the cheapest lowest material costs okay it's a manual yeah it's a four uh we'll just have an cheapest one open call the all the way down Oh, forgot about something. Okay, so, um, let's bring up the graph. Excessive amount of overdrive. Um, oh, yeah, we still have to choose those wheels. Um, cheapest one. Hard long life. Wait, can we go cross ply? Are these cheaper? One ninety nine, eighty eight. Okay, no. Uh, we just um do that. Is this cheap? Er, that is cheaper, right? Sixty nine. Yeah, it is cheaper. Okay, so we just have the smallest wheels ever. Uh, sixty nine. Okay. doesn't matter just make some normal tires then oh it does matter actually never mind okay we just make them as small as possible there we go um rim diameter which one's more cheap of course it's this okay so now we have tiny wheels um I don't think these matter either. Uh, do these matter? I don't think these matter. Okay. So, um, wait. There we go. That's some great stuff. Um, then for our. Hmm. Don't know about that. 
Did I choose everything yet? Uh, so then we, I guess we just, small sprakes, small sprakes, cheapest of course, lowest quality. None. Uh, lowest quality. Just normal stuff. One seat. Basic. Uh, actually, how about uh, one of these? 83. Okay, this one's cheaper. Uh, none. Lower interior quality. Yeah, there's someone outside still, but, um, no power steering, um, no traction aids. No safety. Some standard springs with the twin tube. Passive. Set to normal or something. Um, lowest quality too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Strong oversteer. Okay, go fix that. Hopefully. Okay. This thing has wheel spin. <sighs> I no idea why. Uh Um So springs in front just stiffen these. Yeah, no. Um. Well, um, it's never going to reach that speed anyways, so who cares. 15. wonder if any of these change. Oh, they do. Good, I discovered that. Just have no sway bars. Zero material class, great. wonder if we can increase those production units too. No, okay. So we basically just have It's never gonna reach high speeds anyway, so uh yeah, this is our final product. Let's check his utility <laughs> Fun premium <laughs> Well um Okay. Uh, summary, rear brake force. Dampers are soft. Brake force. Front brake force is very high. Uh, I wonder if I can make these worse. Yeah, I don't think I can make these worse. Uh, oh, actually, uh, could change this though. Front brake force is very high. Just do that. Front dampers are soft. Engine is underpowered. Of course it is. Uh, we just go to here. Increase the dampers. Increase the dampers more. 
decrease the dampers decrease the dampers again decrease the dampers again okay front brake force is very high car has issues with wheel spin um, not like none of any of that matters anyway because uh, yeah the car's gonna need it there we go um, yeah, that's some great zero to sixty-two. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, severe issues with wheel spin, really? Does it? Oh. Okay. Maybe he doesn't need that then. And yeah, that's... Nah, actually, uh... We don't care about user experience here at, um... Mio Getro, so... Okay. This looks great. Completely fine. Uh, we don't need to do anything. Um... And we just... Export this, and... Uh... Yeah, Mio Getro. Uh, let's export it. And, um, I will be back in BMG. Uh, see ya. Hey, I'm back with the uh, Mio Getro and B and um uh haven't tested it yet, so just uh give this a shot and uh That's some great acceleration right there. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that was unexpected. Wonder what that cost. What caused that, I mean. Uh, well, um. Okay, so when it reaches the top of its rev, it kills itself. That's some great stuff to know. Uh. Yeah, um, we're starting in first gear. And then we have to, like, shift here. So it doesn't kill itself. Yeah, some great call to use your experience here. Um, very nice. Uh, completely no issues. Um, and it's cheap too, so, uh, some great design right here we're probably better off in second gear honestly uh fantastic uh no idea what the top speed on this is yet honestly um yeah i don't think the third gear is gonna get us anywhere Yeah, second gear is gonna be the fastest we'll go. Um, hope the engine doesn't lock up. Probably should shift here. Oh, we're going up a hill. That's not good. Uh, fantastic top speed of uh, around uh, let's say twenty see how fast we can go before it locks up. Yeah, fantastic top speed of, uh, 23. So, uh, let's take this around town and see if it can go up, like, um, 
even a bit of a hill. Um, so, uh, let's go west coast, I guess, and default. Let's wait for it to load. Um, There we go. Uh, let's replace this with uh, yeah. Sorry about my this stuff. It's a lot of stuff I made in the past. Um, so we just replaced this with uh, a Mio Gatro. Yeah. Gotta make sure I don't go too high or else. Uh, oh. That's a nice surprise. Um, let's rotate it around to. Uh, oh. Yeah, no. Uh, so, yeah, this thing can't go uphill, but, uh, I wonder if I can add some nitrous to it. Field tank, field tank. Transmission, transmission. Mm. This thing has ESC. Set the tire pressure to like five. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can add nitrous to this, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I can. Okay. Fun stuff. No. Well, uh, let's go in reverse, I guess. Let's just go around town, I guess. Um, uh, wait. There we go. Does it go down? Oh. Well. So basically, this engine literally just locks itself up if you uh, do that. So y you have to... Um, Keep it under like five or something. And yeah, just shift like right there. Or else your engine's going to die. Um, absolutely no issues there. Um, completely fine. Uh, Yeah, so, um, great design, completely fine, uh, super cheap, here's some Yogetra for you. I'm gonna go try something else right now, I do not want to try this again. Honestly, this one sounds a lot better anyways, when I was a drag car anyways. Uh, yeah, I created this one a while back, uh, was in the drag competition, uh, 
the beam injury drag competition. Well, am I terrible at this? Uh, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.